I do want to mention that I know that reborns are not real babies. I'm just taking this doll with me to dramatize the importance of being safe as you take out your reborns out into public and you get to see the importance of what I'm doing and real scenarios. <laughs> Hello, it's Yvonne, and welcome to Having You On. It's time for another edition of In The Crib. And today's topic is your safety when you're out alone with your reborn. I had to get reborn in there because it's a reborn channel, but I'm going to share with you what to look for to keep you safe when you're out alone. So come along with me. At last, you've arrived at your favorite shopping center and you're ready to shop and you can't wait. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Can't wait to shop. Well, let's just get out of our car. Not so fast. Were you watching as you drove into the parking lot who might be watching you? True scenario. I'm going to tell you what happened to me. I was arriving at one of my favorite stores and there was only one entrance. There was a man watching and looking into cars and whenever he found a lone woman and look in the car he made note of what she was driving and this is what he did when he saw me he saw me alone he made a beeline to where i was parking i was unaware of him he ran to the direction of my car at the same time i'm just busy trying to park my car, la -ti da unaware of him. And I felt like there was a car behind me in a rush, kind of pushing me along, not literally, but pushing me along and trying to get me to park quickly. I don't know if that car was part of this other guy or not, I don't know. But I went ahead and parked just to park to get rid of the person that was in a rush. And I was parked in a direction that I don't normally park in in that parking lot I just didn't feel comfortable like that so I just didn't feel right I felt a like a gut feeling something was wrong because I don't normally have my back to everything in that parking lot so I thought well I don't like this spot and so I listened to my gut feelings and I backed out and I parked in the other spot and then I looked up I saw this guy running right towards my car. I thought, what is this guy doing running across the parking lot? And as soon as he saw me looking at him, he stopped and was making a phone call. I said, who runs, suddenly stops and makes a phone call? I thought that is the weirdest thing ever. I thought, well, there's something odd about this guy. And then I started gathering my things and started to uh, make sure I had what I needed to have to get out of the car. And then I look, he was standing right outside my door of my car. Just standing there, looking down at my purse. And I said I, <laughs> to myself, are you serious? Are you serious? He was expecting me to pop out of my car and he was going to snatch my purse. Serious. Serious. So, my advice for you to grab your awareness goggles before getting out of your vehicle and look around you and make sure that no one is approaching your car in a very fast movements and directly walking to your vehicle and don't get out of your car. Don't get out of your car. Take off. Leave, leave, leave. Then of course there is the unloading of the stroller. <laughs> and that kind of puts you in a vulnerable position. But if you looked around and you're aware of what could possibly be your dangers and there you don't see anything that could be coming at you, around you, there's nothing, nobody's watching, then you're perfectly safe to get out your stroller. <laughs> and it's just a matter of hopefully figuring it out. <laughs> That's 
always been a danger for me. <laughs> so let's do it and let's do it fast. While I'm getting my stroller set up, I always have my car doors locked. Just wanted to mention, I have my car doors locked, I have my key put away, and so that's why I do kind of add a little safety there. Took me seconds to get my stroller ready. Okay, here's another safety tip. You're walking back to your car. There's someone following you. Do you continue on walking to your car? Well, here's what I do. I pretend to walk to someone else's car. And if the person's still walking, following me, then I go back to the store. I'm gonna load her up into my car and look around and nobody followed me. I'm perfectly safe, nobody's around. I'm looking with my very observant goggles. For reborn car safety. <laughs> you always wanna have the car seat facing the seat. I just showed it the other way so you could see her a little bit better, but of course be facing this way. But she's not real, but just for safety, in case you slam on your brakes suddenly, it's always good to have the car seat in this direction. But she still isn't real. This next tip is only for those that have nerves of steel and if you're caught off guard and somebody demands that you give up your purse. Well, I have an example of what you can do here. I have what I call my throwaway wallet and here's a purse here. And if somebody demands my purse, I simply just reach in. Instead of giving my purse, I give them my throwaway wallet. I take my throwaway wallet and I throw it over the shoulder past the person that's asking for my purse. I take the, my throwaway wallet and I throw it over the shoulder and as they're turning to look at the wallet, I'm running the opposite way and they're going after my wallet. Well, this is not actually my wallet. It's my throwaway wallet. It doesn't have my ID in it. It doesn't tell anybody where I live. It doesn't have my real credit cards in it. It's simply a throwaway wallet. And I would suggest you getting one and a bright color completely different than your actual wallet, preferably with a texture to it. You can easily grab inside your purse. You don't have to look inside to find it. You could feel with your hands. You could know it was your throwaway wallet. And I have purses often that have an outside pocket where I keep my throwaway wallet that I can reach and I can feel that that's where my, only where my throwaway wallet's kept. And what do I have inside my throwaway wallet? Well, you know those, um, I don't know if they still have them, but they send those applications for credit cards and they often will send those little <laughs> fake credit cards. Well, that's what I collect. <laughs> those are good for something, <laughs> they are. And these are all fake credit cards. And I put them all in there. And they do have the illusion, especially if they're flying through the air. Well, if the fake wallet should burst open when it hits the ground past the bad guy, they look like credit cards on the ground at a distance and they'll pick them up and go cool i have all this money to spend well it's not <laughs> good because it's not real money and i would suggest inside the wallet to put one only one ten dollar bill and behind it put a bunch of ones so it appears to be like you have lots of money in there as well but you really don't and you use it as your throwaway wallet and it only is there to give you time to get away from the bad guy. Here's Carrie. I wanted you to see her a little bit better and better lighting. It was really intense sunlight. I wanted to share with you one more story as well as I think I broke the code as far as what you need to do to be safe. And I'm always cautious and always aware and I want to share one last story with you that was definitely scary, but I didn't let my fear give in and I stopped a crime from happening. And I'll tell you how I did it. I was waiting for a train at a train platform and I was by myself. I was petrified that I was by myself, but there you go. You're waiting for your train. You have to be there and it is nighttime. And here comes a gang. I could hear them coming. They definitely weren't quiet about it. Here they come. And they arrived and they were circling me. I knew what their plan was to take my purse, but instead of cowering down, looking down, giving up, 
I simply looked at every single one of them right in the eye, right in the eye. I wanted to make sure I could identify every single one of them. I looked at it, looked at all of them. Every one that came close to me, I could tell which one was the gang leader. I stared him down and nothing happened to me. They had intentions on taking my purse. I know they did. They kept going circling me, circling me, and circling me. And they gave up. They were just too afraid, too intimidated that I wasn't scared. I wasn't, I, at no time did I look down, no time did I look away from their eyes. I constantly remained in eye contact with them at all times. I watched where they were moving, what they were doing at all times, and I guess they, they didn't like it. And they moved on. They were, they were out of there. They left. And I think that was the secret. The whole thing that ever happens to me is when I go out, I always make sure that I make eye contact with everyone that I see. Uh, sometimes I can tell people are friendly. You can tell how people carry themselves. They're friendly. You can tell the people that are a little bit on the scary side and I'll, I'll make eye contact with them. And um, I won't not look away and I'm very aware of them. And I think that is the secret. If you're looking down, you're distracted, you're not paying any attention, become a victim. It's too easy for them to swoop in. But if you're aware of every movement they make, they're not going to pounce. They're not going to move in. They're not going to be able to uh, make their attack. They're, they can't do it. So I think that's what the secret is. And so that's what I wanted to share with you, my experiences. And I've done quite a bit of traveling by myself. I have really no fear of traveling by myself. And I just do it and I make eye contact <laughs> with people and either they like it or they don't and if they don't uh, they can go away so I think it's best if they don't like it they can go away they probably weren't meant to be around me if they didn't like it so I just wanted to share some of the secrets as far as being safe and I hope that it was beneficial to you I'm Yvonne Thank you for watching Having You On. That's all for now. Stay tuned. I'm going to have another In the Crib coming up, but it has more to do with Reborns. Stay tuned. Take care.